Powered Parachute Handbook 4, 3, Power Plants Now, picture this intricate symphony within your engine, the combustion orchestra. The fuel air mix takes center stage, elegantly ignited by the spark plugs. It smoothly moves away, ensuring a seamless buildup of power, hitting the piston at precisely the right moment during the power stroke. Now, let's talk about the unpredictable element, detonation. It's like an uninvited guest crashing the party, causing chaos with excessive temperatures and pressures. If not addressed, it can lead to serious damage. Detonation usually occurs when you're pushing the engine hard. Using a lower grade fuel or letting the engine rest for too long can be contributing factors. To avoid it, stick to the right fuel grade and keep a vigilant eye on your engine instruments. And don't let your engine sit idle for too long. After about three weeks of inactivity, drain out the old fuel and give it a fresh refill. Now, meet its counterpart, pre-ignition. It's like the fuel air mix deciding to light up before the scheduled ignition event, usually because of a hot spot in the combustion chamber. This early burning can steal power from your engine, making it feel a bit under the weather. Detonation and pre-ignition? They're like two mischievous troublemakers egging each other on. But here's your superhero move, Stick to the right fuel grade and keep your engine within the proper temperature and RPM ranges. Alright, let's shift gears to the fuel system, the lifeblood of your engine. It's like a well-coordinated team making sure your engine gets the nourishment it craves. Fuel pumps play a crucial role, with the main pump driven by the engine. And just in case, there's an electrically driven backup pump, the unsung hero ready to jump in if the main pump falters. For two-stroke engines, a diaphragm pump takes the spotlight, activated by air pulses in the crankcase. It ensures the carburetor gets fuel under pressure. Four-stroke engines, on the flip side, have a mechanical pump doing the heavy lifting, directly driven by the engine. Ever heard of the fuel plunger primer? Think of it as your engine's morning routine. During chilly weather when your engine needs a little wake-up call, this primer draws fuel from the tanks and sends it straight into the cylinders. It's like the engine's way of getting ready for the day. There you have it, the combustion intricacies, the detonation challenges, and the fuel system dynamics. Picture the choke as the engine's morning cup of coffee, waking it up with a burst of extra fuel for those cold starts. Engaging the choke control allows a richer fuel flow into the carburetor, giving the engine a boost. Now, let's talk about the fuel bulb primer, the manual maestro in charge of drawing fuel from the tanks. Squeezing the bulb sets the stage, charging the fuel lines and carburetor float bowls before the engine's first performance of the day. Once the engine starts, the fuel pump takes over, delivering the fuel to the carburetors for the main act. Fuel gauges, the storytellers of the fuel supply, indicate the amount of fuel in gallons, but don't trust them blindly. A visual check during the pre-flight inspection is a must, ensuring the fuel level aligns with the gauge. Keep an eye on your in-flight fuel consumption, consulting your powered parachute's PO for the consumption rate to ensure a smooth flight. For those with an auxiliary electric fuel pump, a fuel pressure gauge might join the ensemble, indicating the pressure in the fuel lines. Know the normal operating pressure from your pilot's operating handbook to keep everything in tune. Fuel filters, the guardians of cleanliness, come into play after leaving the fuel tank. They sift through the fuel, removing any sediments that might tarnish the engine's performance. Now, let's talk fuel, the lifeblood of your engine. Aviation gasoline or avgas comes with a performance number, indicating its anti-knock value. Higher grades withstand more pressure without detonating, suitable for higher compression engines. However, be cautious with aviation gasoline 100 low lead, as it contains more lead, potentially causing issues in certain engines. Spark plugs, those finicky artists, are susceptible to lead fouling, especially in two-stroke engines. The right fuel grade matters to keep these artists performing their best. When it comes to alcohol, methanol and ethanol join the fuel drama. While methanol is corrosive, ethanol attracts water, impacting fuel economy. Stick to the manufacturer's recommendations for alcohol content, as it can vary between fuel brands. Fuel contamination, the villain in this story, often results from neglecting pre-flight checks, using improperly filtered fuel, or storing aircraft with partially filled tanks. Rust. The common culprit, can be prevented by filling metal fuel tanks after each flight. So, as you fuel up, imagine this intricate plot unfolding. The engine's epic journey fueled by the right mix of drama and reliability. Let's unravel the intricacies of fuel, treating it like a delicate concoction that demands careful attention. 
Allowing it to sit idle for weeks can lead to trouble, even if it doesn't go bad, it might lose its octane charm with time. For those combining gasoline and two-stroke oil, an added challenge arises. If left in a plastic container, the gas might mysteriously vanish, leaving a richer oil mixture behind. Now, let's delve into the act of refueling, a crucial scene in our fuel drama. Mixing oil and fuel indoors is a big no-no, the fumes are not only annoying but could potentially lead to a hazardous situation. This choreography should always unfold outdoors. When refueling an aircraft that has just touched down, exercise caution. There's a risk of spilling fuel on a hot engine component, and we wouldn't want to add an unintended fiery twist to our story. Fuel containers, our silent heroes, come in both metal and plastic. Metal cans shield fuel from the sun's harsh rays and eliminate static charges but might get a bit sweaty in changing temperatures. On the other hand, plastic containers are easy to handle, cost-effective, and won't scratch your aircraft's finish. However, fuel tends to age faster in plastic. Each has its pros and cons, like characters in our narrative. Static electricity, a subtle villain, can be formed during refueling, especially if using plastic containers. The friction in the air or the flow of fuel through hoses can create a spark. To avoid this electrifying twist, grounding wires should be your safety net. Attaching a ground wire to the aircraft and grounding the refueling nozzle helps keep static electricity in check. Watch out for nylon, dacron, and wool they love accumulating static electricity and could spark trouble. Now, let's explore the art of mixing oil and fuel for two-stroke engines. It's a delicate operation where precision matters. An oil injection system might save you from the pre-mixing chore but ensure the oil reservoir is filled. If your engine lacks this luxury, here's the process. Find a clean container, pour a splash of gas, and pre-dilute the two-stroke oil. Pour in the right amount of two-stroke oil approved for air-cooled engines, check your powered parachute's engine manual. Shake the oil-gas mixture to let them blend harmoniously. Add gasoline until the 50 to 1 ratio is reached. Secure the cap and give it a thorough shake, the grand finale of our mixing masterpiece. Fueling up, mixing, and refueling. Each step in our narrative ensures our engine's performance takes center stage without any unexpected plot twists.